Welcome to Liel Cherry TV. I'm Liel Cherry, pre and postnatal specialist, yoga instructor, a health coach, and I have a few other labels attached to what I do for a living. Today, I'm truly excited to share with you prenatal feel good yoga flow that can be practiced in all three trimesters. We will stretch and strengthen all different parts in our body, as well as awakening our energy to feel good and alive. I share pre and postnatal yoga and workouts, as well as mommy and baby yoga and workouts every week. I would love to have you as part of my beautiful, the Sassy Mommy lifestyle community. Join the club by subscribing and hit the bell so you won't miss any new videos of mine. Now, yoga block can be very useful for this practice. If you don't have any yoga blocks, just grab maybe a thick book or a firm pillow perhaps. Get yourself ready and let's begin. We're going to begin our practice today in a cross-legged seated position. Sometimes to place a yoga block or a pillow underneath your sitting bones can be very helpful to elevate your hips above your knees. That will help you to find more length through your spine and relax your shoulders. So go ahead and find what suits you today. Then place your hands on top of your knees, go ahead and close your eyes. Relax your shoulders and find a little bit more length through your spine. Begin connect to your breath. Deep, long inhale into your nose. Find a slight pause at the top and then gently exhaling out of your nose. Few more breaths just like that. Inhale, pause, let it out. Breathe in, breathe out. Allowing our breath to take us into the present moment. The only moment where life is actually existing right now, right here. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Open your eyes, inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Look up, connect your palms, and as you exhale, place your right palm down, lean to the right, and let's stretch the left side body. Bring the gaze skyward, and then open your heart all the way upward. Lengthen out of your waist, inhale, try to go a little deeper, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take it to the other side. Lengthen out of your waist and then fold to the left, stretching the right side. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Now, if you're sitting on a block or a pillow, I want you to move it aside and just go ahead and root your sitting bones into the mat and we will try to take our side stretch a little deeper. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right palm down. Walk the fingers away from you. Maybe you can drop down to your forearm if that's accessible to you today. Lengthen out of your waist. Look up. Inhale, breathe into your side. Exhale, soften, relax. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Exhale, lift, palm down, walk the fingers away, maybe drop down to your forearm. Be really mindful of your movement and do only what is accessible to you and feels good for you. Inhale to find length. Exhale, soften and relax. Inhale, lift you up, arms to the sky, look up. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart and close your eyes for a moment. I want you to ignite a little gratitude within you. I want you to say thank you for yourself, 
for showing up today for yourself, for creating time to move, to breathe, and to feel good. Breathe in. Release your gratitude to the universe. Beautiful. Open your eyes and let's make our way to all fours. Tabletop position. Stack the hips on top of your knees, shoulders on top of your wrist. And let's begin with a big hip circles. Circling our hips around, letting go of all the tightness and tension from the hips. Move as slow or as fast as feels good for you. Remember, that's your practice, that's your body. I'm only guiding you, but you choose how you want to move. Let's switch the direction. Very nice. Now let's find stillness in our tabletop and a few cycles of cat cow. Inhale, gently dip the belly down, bring the gaze up, open your heart. Exhale, push the earth away, tuck the tail under, chin to your chest, round your upper back. Inhale, soften, heart up, tailbone up. Exhale, push away, contract, chin to your chest, round the upper back. Few more with your very own pace and with your very own breath. You gotta move as slow or as fast as feels good for you and your little baby inside of you. Last cycle. And let's make our way into uh, stillness and tabletop. Bird dog, send the right arm in front of you, extend the left leg back behind you, thumb facing up, push back through your heel and place it down. Inhale, opposite arm, opposite leg. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, all the way down. Slight engagement in your core. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let's bring that right arm, lift leg, and pause here. Bring your right hand down. Pivot your right shin bone parallel to the back of your mat. Shift the weight to your right arm, side plank. Reach that left arm up to the sky. Good. If you need, you can place your left foot down to the earth. Otherwise, just stay here. Lift your hips a little higher and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Place your left knee down and then thread the needle. Bring that left arm underneath your right. Walk your right fingers further away and drop your left shoulder onto your mat. Relax, close your eyes, focus on your breathing. Directing your breath into the tight areas in your body, using your inhales to create space. Using your exhales to let go of all the tightness out of your body. Good, bring the right hand underneath the shoulder, push the earth away, lift yourself up. Let's reach that left arm forward, extend the right leg back behind you, and then bring your left hand down. Begin to shift the weight to the left arm as you pivot your left shin bone parallel to the back of your mat. Side plank, right arm reaches up to the sky. Again, you can keep your, right, uh, your left leg in the air or place it down for more balance and stability if you need. And we're just gonna hold five. Four, three, two, and one. Place the knee down, thread the needle, bring that right arm underneath your left, reach your left fingers forward and then lower to the shoulders. Let's stretch the shoulders. If you need a little bit more space to your bum, you can spread your knees a little wider. Breathe in, let it out. One more cycle of breath. Very nice. 
Let's push the earth away, lift ourselves up into uh, a tabletop. From here, tuck your toes under, let's find downward facing dog. Walk the hands forward and slowly begin to lift your sitting bones up to the sky. Open your feet the wide as feels comfortable for you and your bump. Bend your knees to find a little bit more length through your spine. And we begin to wiggle your sitting bones side to side, creating space in our spine, in our back. And then begin to pedal up those legs, bending one knee, then the other, opening your hamstrings. Inhale, come high to your toes. Exhale, lower the heels down. One more time, inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, lower the heels down. Beautiful, begin to walk the hands towards your feet to the back of your mat. And then open up your feet to the outer edges, heels in, toes out, and drop yourself down into Malasana Yogi Squat. Now here you also can grab a yoga block and to place your sitting bones onto the block if that feels good. Or you can allow the gravity to take you a little deeper into the pose and open up your hips and groin a little bit more. Hands to heart, use your elbows to push those knees out. Lots of length through the spine. Close your eyes for a moment, take a breath in. And open mouth, just let go of something. Nice. Let's bring the right palm down to the mat, reach the left arm to the sky. Open, twist. Good. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift palm down, right arm to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more on each side. Inhale, open up. Exhale, walk the hands to heart. Inhale, lift palm, right arm. Exhale, hands to your heart. Very nice. From here, I want you to ground your hands, lift your sitting bones up to the sky, bring your feet parallel to each other, ragdoll. Grab the opposite elbows and just rock side to side. Adjust your feet as much as you need to create space to your bum. And just sway side to side, releasing any tension from our lower back, creating lots of room in the back of our legs. Lower the hands down, heels in, toes out, squat into malasana. Breathe in. As you breathe out, again, fold forward, hands down, feet parallel to each other, ragdoll, sway side to side. Good. Hands down, halfway, inhale, heels in, toes out, squat back down into malasana. Hands down to the mat, sitting bones up to the sky, feet parallel to each other. And now walk your hands back into downward facing dog. Find a complete stillness. Take a breath in. Open mouth, side out. Let's take one more deep breath in. And let it out. Inhale, bring your gaze up. Exhale, I want you to step your right foot in between your hands. Help yourself to bring that foot forward. Then go ahead and drop down to your left knee. Now here, yoga blocks can be useful if you cannot reach all the way down uh, to the floor. So sink your hips nice and low. Place your hands on top of the right knee. Push that right knee forward and enjoy the divine stretch in your groin. Again, be mindful, don't go too deep. Listen to your body, breathe in, breathe out. Half splits, send the hips to the back, flex the right toes towards your chest. You can keep your arms on the mat or maybe use yoga blocks to help yourself to go a little deeper. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rebend into that right knee. Tuck your left toes under, lift that knee up, and we will go into pyramid pose from here. 
Again, if your hands cannot reach the floor, you can use your yoga blocks and you can change the height on the blocks with the support that you need. Inhale to find length. Exhale, maybe to fold a little deeper. And be mindful on your tummy that you're not crunching or pressing onto your baby. Next inhale, we bend into that right knee. Pivot the left foot parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Cartwheel the arms up and open. Exhale, sink nice and deep. Strong arms, strong legs. Your knee pointing towards your toes. Use, again, the strength of the legs to go a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Travel the left fingers down your leg. Keep pressing the right knee forward and breathe into your side body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, skandasana. Straighten the right leg. Bend your left knee and squat all the way down. Now you can place your hands here down to the floor and then gently travel all the way to the other side, bending the right knee, skandasana on the right. Notice how you feel here, then go ahead, use your core to lift the sitting ones up, move to the other side. And again, we're gonna travel all the way to the right. Very nice. Pivot forward, ground your left hand to the mat, sweep your right arm up to the sky. Nice, easy twist, and we're gonna circle that arm all the way around. Switch the direction of your circles. Very nice. Pause, reach that arm all the way up, drop your left knee down, bring the shin bone parallel, to the back of your mat and step your right leg to the back of your mat into that side plank. Now from here, we're gonna dip the hips down, lift and take a crunch, side crunch. Extend, dip your hips down, side crunch. It's optional, you don't have to do that. So we're working here our transverse abdominal muscles, which are very important during pregnancy as we cannot work our six packs our rectus abdominis but to work on our core it is very important all right let's do three more two and one very nice now from here Ground your right hand down, tuck both of your toes under, and meet me in downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out, and take a moment to notice the difference between both of your sides. Inhale, look up, exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Help yourself to bring that foot forward, and then go ahead and drop your right knee down. Place your hands on top of your left knee, push that knee forward. Good, sink into that lunge. Take a breath in and out. Ground your hands, use your yoga blocks if you need. Half splits, send the hips back, flex the toes towards your chest. Maybe walk the hands a little bit further away to find more length through the spine and to go deeper to the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale, nice. Rebend, tuck your right toes under, lift the knee, pyramid pose. Slightly step that right foot forward, square the hips to the front of your mat. And again, use yoga blocks if you need. Take a breath in and then maybe fold forward as you breathe out. Inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, sink back into a low lunge. Pivot your right foot parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Open your arms, sink nice and deep. 
left knee pointing towards your toes back foot parallel to the back of your mat squeezing both of your heels to the midline to find a little bit more activation in your inner thighs and keeping your shoulders right on top of your hips take a breath in sink a little deeper as you breathe out next inhale reverse your warrior reach that right arm to the back of your mat maintaining your left knee on top of your left ankle next inhale warrior two exhale skandasana straighten the left leg bend your right knee and then drop the hips down again you can bring your hands down to the floor for a little bit more support inhale lift your sitting ones up and move to the other side pause for a moment inhale lift up exhale move to the right inhale up exhale move to the left now pivot all the way to the left find a low lunge ground your right hand lift your left arm up nice big open twist and let's begin to circle the arm around Switch the direction of the circles. Beautiful. Pause. Drop your right knee down. Pivot your shin bone parallel to the back of your mat and you're gonna step your left foot to the back of your mat into that modified side plank. From here, we're gonna dip the hips down. Lift, take a side crunch. Lower, lift, side crunch. Very nice. How are you feeling, mama? Big smile, make sure you breathe nice and steady. I look forward to connecting with you. Let me know in the comments down below how far away you are. If this is your first baby or your second baby, maybe 10th baby. All right, let's do three more. And two. Last one. Beautiful. Bring that hand down, knee down, tuck your toes under, and let's find a downward facing dog. Take a cleansing in breath. Open mouth, let it out. Come back to breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale, I want you to step your right foot outside of your right hand into a lizard lunge. Maybe roll onto the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, right arm up to the sky, open. Let's take a few more circles here because it feels really, really good. And go ahead and switch the direction. Pause. From here, you're gonna pivot your right foot to the right, come to the outer edge of your left foot, and then send the right arm to the back of your mat, so stretching your outer glute. Inhale, lift the hips up, bring that right arm across your line, exhale, sink. Inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Two more. Last one. Inhale, lift. Bring that right hand down and begin to pivot all the way to the left into a straddle forward fold. Both feet are parallel to each other. You can use yoga block here if you need. Inhale, long spine. And as you exhale, just fold forward. You can grab behind your calves, ankles, heels, and just allow the gravity to take you deeper into the pose. Find your breath. Feel how each inhale creates a little bit more space in your body and allow your exhale to take you right into that new space. One more breath in and out hands in between your feet halfway length then inhale 
let's ground the right hand and then sweep your left arm up to the sky into a nice open twist maybe a few circles with your wrist to one direction and then switch to the other now reach that arm a little bit more back behind you and exhale fold forward switch inhale right arm reaches up to the sky open twist let's take a few circles with our wrist and go ahead and switch direction good inhale reach exhale fold halfway to lengthen glance out and we will pivot again forward and then walk the right foot to the left and drop your shin bone down into pigeon pose let's stretch our hips flex your right foot to protect your knee if you need a little support you can place a block underneath your thigh or underneath your right glute whatever you need maybe bringing the block in front of you and you can place your forearms onto a block just find what feels good today in your own body every day our practice is also going to feel different maybe tomorrow you will feel a little bit more open and your body will allow you to go deeper with your practice or perhaps the opposite so always be mindful always tune inward and allow your breath to guide you through each asana let's take one more breath here Lift the gaze, push the earth away. Beautiful. Now we're gonna sweep that left leg around and to come into a one-legged seated forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, you're gonna pivot towards that left leg and fold any amount that is accessible to you. If your right foot pressing into your tummy, you're just gonna move it a little bit away. Maybe it feels good for you to reach the arms forward. So go ahead and explore what feels good for you. One more breath in and out. Push yourself up. Alrighty, let's bring the left hand onto the right knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up and we're gonna take from here another nice divine side body stretch. Both sitting bones grounded into your mat. Inhale to find length, exhale to find dip. Breathe in and out. Nice. Slowly lift yourself up. Now go ahead and cross your ankles, push the hands to the mat, and then step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step your left foot outside of your left hand into lizard lunge. Take a moment here to wiggle side to side, explore, ground your right hand, sweep your left arm up to the sky, and a few more arm circles, because why not when it feels so good? And then go ahead and switch the direction. Good, pause. <laughs> Pivot your left foot. Come to the outer edge of the right foot and then we're going to drop the hips so reach the, the left arm to the back of your mat inhale lift the hips and then left arm comes across your ear line good exhale lower inhale lift up exhale sink reach the arm back behind you inhale lift let's do two more very nice now ground that left hand and slowly begin to pivot to the right again into a straddle forward fold now this time I want you to reach the arms back behind you interlock all the fingers at your lower back squeeze the heels of your hands squeeze the shoulder blades take a breath in and as you exhale fold forward breathe in breathe out very nice let go of your grip halfway to lengthen 
and then begin to pivot all the way to the front walking that left foot to the right and drop your shin bone down into pigeon pose take a moment here to find your alignments nice square hips to the front use props if you need and then slowly lower down to your forearms and relax One more breath in and out. Push the earth away, lift yourself up. Let's bring that right leg all the way forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pivot to the right leg and fold forward. Now again, move that left foot aside if you need or maybe just go ahead and fold forward. Find what feels good for you. Slowly begin to lift yourself up. Let's bring that right hand onto the left knee. Inhale, sweep your left arm up. And then all the way to the right into another divine side body stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, slowly lifts you up. Exhale, cross your ankles, and let's meet in downward facing dog again. Last downward facing dog for our practice. Take a moment here to pause and just notice how it feels from the first down dog that you've done, that you did during this class. Breathe in and breathe out slowly drop down to your knees let's take a child's pose big toes to touch knees out wide sink your sitting bones to the heels arms in front of you forehead resting on your mat and just relax relax and again take this opportunity to thank yourself thank yourself for stepping on your mat today, for moving your body, connecting to your breath, for creating time to feel better, to energize yourself. Everything is count. Repeat after me. I'm proud of myself. Good job, mama. Good job, mama. I'm so proud of you. Lift your gaze, slowly roll yourself up. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, plug the hands to your heart. One more just like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Oh, very nice. Now again, let's seal this practice with gratitude. Thank yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With your gratitude, breathe in and then release your gratitude to the universe. <sighs> Open your eyes and let's applause to ourselves. Good job. I'm truly proud of you. Now, pregnancy is no joke, okay? So many things are going on every single day, but we have the power within us to step on our mat, to do little movement, to feel better. We have the power to create change. So I encourage you, highly encourage you, come back to moving your body every single day, even if it's just for a little bit, five minutes, it's better than nothing. Now, a little secret that I'm gonna share with you. I'm not truly pregnant right now, it's a fake belly. However, I was pregnant, I've been pregnant twice, so I know exactly how you feel and I will tell you I couldn't live without movement because as soon as I spent the day without moving my body, I was just, you know, like 
truly sorry about that so i highly highly encourage you come back and move every single day even if it's for five or ten minutes good job mama let me know in the comments down below did you notice that i have a fake belly right here but it feels so real <laughs> and i would like connecting with you let me know how far along you are with your pregnancy if this is your first one second or third where are you from and i really love reading your comments and also let me know what other yoga practices would you like to see if this was too mellow too easy or just perfect maybe you want a little bit more fire also go ahead and check my prenatal uh, yoga classes for a little bit more variety of different classes Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy with me today. I wish you a beautiful day from my heart to yours. I bow to you. Namaste.